new day, new test. Um, I've been having issues with the uh, inconclusive results, so I'm just going to start off fresh here. Maybe I have a cup of coffee, make sure I'm not doing anything stupid. Uh, I've got the thermistor in gas, actually, this mix here, inside a glass with water around it, heat source to heat the glass, the water, transfer the heat into the gas. I want the gas to be above, you know, room temperature inside a house, because that's not normal. I'm trying to simulate this as much as I can outside without actually going outside and sweating it out. The thermistor is hooked in series with the meter, record the milliamps, which I'm currently sitting at about, when does it jump like that, I don't know, wait a minute, right, there we switch. about 30 milliamps, I'm putting on the 100 milliamp scale, so that's three, 30 milliamps, put it back at a 500, just in case it comes on, I don't want to blow my meter up when I'm not watching, because that, this thing will go well over 100 milliamps, if it, if it does more, come on. Anyway, so I got it in the thermistor is hooked in series with the the meter uh, to a approximately 12 volt, 13 volt battery pack. I have to keep an eye on that because even though it's 30 milliamps, that thing's like 1300 milliamps. It shouldn't be a problem, so I don't have to worry about that. Unless it came on and stayed on for an hour, I didn't notice. Through two GE47 light bulbs, um, using the the GE47s are commonly used in electronics, and they're 6.3 volts, so in series they're 12 volts. I think that's may not be the exact same sit, uh, setup as in the car. I'm going to do a test for that later. What I'm going to do is after this test concludes, if it concludes positively, that is the lights stay off, even when the thermistor is set in warm gas for hours. The next test is just to up the ante a little bit, as I will take one bulb out, therefore drawing a lot more current through the whole system because I'm having the resistance in the series there and see how tolerant this whole setup is to the bulb. Some of the talk that's going on right now is perhaps the thermistor in the bulb is a very narrowly matched system that has to be within this particular tolerance range everything to work right. We don't know that, but because one of our members is having such difficulty, that's the speculation. You know, why else would it not be working right? So hopefully by using drastically different bulbs here, if the system still works exactly the same, we could say, okay, the system is very tolerant of bulbs and there's something else going on with the other members' uh, thermistor setup. That's what this experiment is about. I'm trying to see if I can repeat his results. And if not, then there's something else going on with the, the setup that he's got. Uh, again, this thermistor came out of a 1991 Toyota. It was in a in enclosed package, like inside a plastic box that sat down in the water, and the fuel that is. I don't know if that matters or not. This, Thermistor element was the thermistor element was removed from that and put inside the OE case that came with the Datsun, which is a little bit different design. It's got larger holes. It's got uh, filter material to keep junk out. I presume I don't know that for a fact. But anyway, we're going to continue this test and uh, see where we are. I'm going to just let this run for a few hours. Let's just see where we are on temperature. Uh, 110 degree fuel. Get a little bit closer to make sure I'm getting the right results. Yeah. Uh, I've already done this test last night. I got the fuel up to almost 130 degrees. The system seemed to work fine, but that was only for a short test of about 45 minutes to an hour. I can't remember how long I did it, actually. This time the test is going to be for hours, and I'm not going to try to get the fuel up to 130 degrees. I don't know if that's representative of what fuel typically is, you know, what the typical temperature is in a tank, even in a hot climate, which is where we're concerned, obviously. The cooler the climate, the more the cooling effect. But I'll post this video up right now, and then I'll, uh, I'll get back to you later with results on this and the single bulb experiment as well. But we got to let this run for a few hours to see what happens. Thanks for watching.